Quickly, before they regroup, we must press towards the wild. I can't do that. I'm sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. Maybe we should grieve when we're safe? Don't speak to me of grief. This is your fault. How could you let him charge off like that? Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you. At least father will have company now. Flames. We're too late. Can't we talk about Lucy? No! No end. 
to them. to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait! You can't just leave us here. Can I not? I spotted a most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? You can show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> if only a clever tongue was all one needed. Tell me, clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? King Kalen was betrayed. There's nothing for me here. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth, Asha Bellinar, an old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wild? What is a witch of the wilds, exactly? A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah! As if I had nothing better to do. You're an apostate? Yes. Just like you. You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered? I have... an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily. You're not without your own needs. How much trouble will this delivery be, exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. Good point. 
If you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. I have to reach Kirkwall first. But you will do it. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. There must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar? Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. Your husband, Eveline. I can't decide his fate. Be strong, my love. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. 
Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows. Welcoming you. That's where their ship landed. With all the rest. City. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. They're Pereldans, just like us. Fleeing for their lives. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. We're getting into the city, one way or another. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him.